Hi guys, it's Jessie. And I asked on my last vlog video um, what kind of videos you'd like to see. And someone had left in the comment box that they would like to see um, some products that I regret buying. So I thought I would start uh, by doing that video first. And when I do this video, just remember this is just my person, my personal experience with this product or any that I mention. So if these are products of yours that are your favorites or that work for you, I'm really glad that they do. These just didn't work for me. So to get this started, uh, oh yeah, sorry about the hair. It is rainy and it's been raining all day. So yeah, it looks kind of like a mess. Anyway, to start the video. The first things that I have are, I think I have three makeup related items that I really didn't like when I bought them. And the first one is an e.l.f. product. And it's not so much that I don't like the color of this, it's their um, lip stain in their studio line. Because the color goes on really pretty, but this is, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, this is a, not a lip stain. I never could get this stuff to dry. I put, and you can see that I've even used this end because I put this on, and this is what it looks like. And it goes on like a, like a lip gloss. But the color is really pretty, and I waited and waited and waited for the stuff to dry, and it never did. So I thought, well, maybe you have to put the clear end on. So I put the clear stuff on it, and it was just like a clear gloss. So this stuff did not work. So I won't repeat buying any of the lip stains out of the studio line. And I think this was $3. So yeah, this is one product that I regret buying. And this color, I guess I could tell you the color, would be mysterious. So pretty color, but I don't think this is a lip stain. The next thing is an eyeliner, and this is from NYX. And I really like a lot of the NYX products. I've never really had a problem with any of them until I purchased this. And this is their liquid liner that has a little brush. And it's just the black one. And I think this one was $2.99. I got this one at Cherry Culture. But the issue I have with this and why I regret buying it is because when you put it on, this stuff flakes so bad. It dries and then it comes right off. So if you do, you know, if you have something in your eye or like this, it's gone. There's, it's not there. So this stuff definitely does not last. So I don't recommend this one and I really didn't like it. So the next makeup thing, and I got this one at Cherry Culture too. And if I would have seen it in person, I probably wouldn't have purchased it, but online it looked different. And it is the Muse palette, and I don't even think it says what color this thing is. And it's called, oh, here it is. The Bright Marble Eyeshadow. It looks like this. And these things are not soft, and they don't have hardly any pigment, and they're really chalky. And I think this was $1.99. Here's the next one. Yeah. And they are chalky, chalky, chalky. So I didn't like this palette. I have not tried any of their other ones. I just purchased this one and I didn't care for this. So the next thing I have is a face product. And this one is um, supposed to be for your eyes to reduce puffiness. And this one is the Garn... I hope I say this right. Garnier Fructis, uh, the new Skin Renew Anti Puff Eye Roller, and it comes in a deal like this. And it has this. You're supposed to like shake it up, and it has a serum inside, and it's got this little. I don't know if you can see it. This little roller ball deal that you roll under your eyes. And this stuff I think was ten bucks. At, I think I got it at Walmart or Walgreens, one of the two. But yeah, it was somewhere around ten dollars. And I'd seen the commercials, and yeah, I got suckered in. I thought this really might work for, you know, I'm a mom, I'm tired, you know, roll it under there at night, and when you wake up, you're supposed to look refreshed. Yeah, didn't work. Anyway, I didn't notice anything different with this, and the stuff you roll under your eyes is also kind of sticky. So I didn't like the consistency of what you put underneath there, and I don't think it did one thing. And I tried this stuff for a whole month because I wanted to get my money's worth out of it, and there's still three-fourths of a tube, I think, in there. So 
this is something that didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for somebody else, but didn't work for me. The other thing that I've got is for, it was also at Walmart, and it was on um, one of the Indrax. And when it comes to like, tweezing my eyebrows or anything else on my face or waxing. I'm a big, big baby. I don't like pain. And so I bought, it's called the Hair Off Facial Buffer 3 in 1. And it says that it leaves skin hair free and silky smooth. And I think this thing costs like $4. Somewhere around there. And it looks like this. It comes in a little box like this and it's one of those deals you see on TV. But anyway, let me see if I can get it open and show it to you. Maybe you've already seen these. But it comes with this little deal. And then you stick these little, they're kind of reminds you almost of like a fingernail file kind of thing. I mean, it's just, it's not like rough or anything like that. But you stick it on here and then you're supposed to like be able to rub it like between your eyebrows and, you know, like over your lip or wherever you want to use it. Anyway, I used it between my eyebrows and a little bit on my lip just to see if it would work. And it took the hair off, but within probably the next day or so, it's like it took the hair and broke it off right under the skin because I had horrible little tiny bumps everywhere where I used that. So I, this thing caused pain and I had a horrible, all those little tiny hairs that broke off. So I didn't like this product at all. And I'm just going to say I did use it as the direction stated. So there's that product. And the last product is another face product. And this one, I think, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this product. This is the Proactive. And this one is the Renewing Cleanser. And I think this is what caused a lot of my problem. I don't know. But it comes in, you know, the three-step care, which I don't mind the, what do you call it, the toner because it's just basically witch hazel. And the oil-free moisture comes in a bottle like this. This stuff I don't think works for my skin type because my skin, after I put it on, it's like I didn't put anything on at all. And then here's the daily oil control that's supposed to stop the oil. I didn't notice it worked. And then here's the renewing cleanser. And for the package I bought, I think it was like 63 bucks. But anyway, I'm sure you've all seen the ads on TV with the celebrities and everything saying that, you know, the stuff's supposed to cure your acne. Well, it didn't cure my acne. It actually, the reaction I had to it was my face was so red and so sore, which I think has to do with the benzoyl peroxide in it. Maybe I had a reaction to it. I don't know but it made my acne worse, I feel like. And I used this stuff, I'm gonna say six months, because I kept thinking it would get better and better, and it didn't. So, I didn't care for this, and I will not repeat buying this. So those are my items that I regret buying, so if you have any that you regret buying, please leave them in the comment box below.